Scavenge Lord loot video time. And I'm going to have to speak quickly because this is a late afternoon and I am battling against the sunset. And I want you guys to see all these beautiful colors. <coughs> so let's get into it. This is the first week of April and I went out scavenging this morning. I was pulled over by a St. John's County deputy who told me that she had received not one, not two, but three calls about a stranger going through my trash. So I was told that the sheriff's department received three phone calls about me this morning, and I gotta think that the uh, sheriff's department is starting to get pretty sick and tired of receiving phone calls about me because this has been going on for over a year now. I'm out in the same places just about every Monday morning. And if you were calling the cops about because your cat is up a tree, at, we, we used to joke about that. But at least that would be a real problem. A very, very, very minor problem, but a problem. Calling people because, calling the cops because I'm looking in your trash is not even that. But hey, look what we got here. This is not a weird color correction. Uh, these actually are neon yellowish green softballs. I've got five of them. I've got, I think, 15 or 16 golf balls and putting cups for the golf balls. One golf tee. Yeah, that was an interesting trash can. Four pairs of shoes. Women's and kids. An issue of Game Informer that I did not already have. Boxes of gourmet lollipops and Folks, that is original plastic. Still on, uh, let's see, three of these boxes? Yeah. A few miscellaneous bags that were handy for carrying things. And as every gamer knows, a Crown Royal bag is actually a dice bag, which comes with some free booze. Oh, this golf club bag right here. Lots of various knickknacks. I thought that that wristwatch was broken, but actually no, it was supposed to come apart. It's in really good condition. Drugs! Uh, BC powder. You might not be familiar with those up north, but that is aspirin. Electrical tape is always good. Yes, that is a box cutter with a sharp razor blade in it that I found. A small chalkboard which reads, Dear Lillian, leave a message on the onesie. I'm not even going to attempt to explain that. A few pieces of miscellaneous jewelry. I have plans for that retractable key ring right there. I need to replace mine. A couple of knee pads. Uh, four music CDs. What we have here is Jethro Tull, Nirvana, and classic rock. A few miscellaneous school supplies. An entire unopened bag of pencils. 30 MyCoke reward points. Yay, the MyCoke reward famine has ended. And a Star Trek lunchbox. Now, if you want... Now, maybe you're a person who uh, doesn't want a Star Trek lunchbox and you think that it should be thrown away. Because it's a, it's a 2001, it's slightly beaten up. And if you're that type of person, well, then you and I have absolutely nothing to talk about. And I don't want to speak with you. Let's look at the clothes. I found a few women's clothes today. Uh, a couple of shirts that are still good. Uh, one cheap tank top, one cheap pair of shorts. A nice blouse. A pair of sunglasses that, yeah, I'm just looking at them now for the first time carefully. They got a few scratches on them. And four swimsuit bottoms and six swimsuit tops. 
Now, um, I'm sure that you're capable of doing the math and realizing that six is more than four. I cannot explain that adequately. But we got them. So I think I'm going to name this episode My Balls. Because I have so many balls. And they are impressive, aren't they? Thank you for watching. I hope you survived April Fool's Day.